Hey guys! So today I'm going to be basically doing just to get ready with me. I'm going to be using some ColourPop eyeshadows and the Anastasia Artist Palette. And so yeah, I've already put on my primer and my eyelid primer. Just kind of letting all that soak in and let's get into it. I'm going to be taking the shade called Buttery from the Artist Palette. And I'm just going to sweep that from my brow bone down to about the midpoint of basically where my um, creases. And before I forget, I'm going to be using tape today just so I can get that nice, nice crisp line. Because I like it. I do. Taking the e.l.f. blending brush, it has this nice flat look to it. I'm going to use the color called Dusty Rose. And I'm going to put that directly into my crease and a little bit above. Alright, so now let's get into the fun stuff. I'm going to be taking the shade Mooning from ColourPop. It is this gorgeous chocolatey brown. It is a very rich brown color. And because I don't want to go too, too heavy handed with it, I'm going to use this synthetic brush, just a nice small one, and just dip it into the color. I think I've got too much already. And I'm just going to dab that into the outer V, making it darkest, closest to the tape. and then sweeping it just a little bit into the crease. Don't worry, we'll blend it out. So I'm going to take that same brush that I put on the Dusty Rose with and just kind of blend all that out. Try to soften up those lines a bit. And back in with this brush, no additional product. Just taking what's left on there, filling in any sparse areas. I'm going to take a little bit more of that dusty rose and just kind of blend it out right on that top part of the crease in the outer corner. Just really blending that really nicely. Alright, so I'm going to go in with the shade Birthday Girl from ColourPop. This is a limited edition shade that you got with the purchase during a certain time. And it is really super pretty. If you don't have this color, you can use um, a maze or any other, or Lala, any of the other um, kind of rosy gold type shimmery shades. I think they'd all work just fine. For this one, I am using my finger because it's the best way to apply ColourPop. So I'm just going to start at the center of the lid. And just build this color up slowly. Just kind of dabbing it on. This is what's going to give this look the brightness that I want. I am once again going to take that fluffy blending brush from e.l.f. and a little bit more of the Dusty Rose. And I'm just going to just kind of barely sweep it into the crease to just kind of blend out that top area. You don't need a lot, just seriously, the tiniest little dab, but just to blend out any harsh lines. I'm just going to take my NYC liquid liner. It's a really good matte eyeliner from the drugstore. It is super cheap. And I'm just going to use my tape as a guide. Going back in with the Artist Palette, and I'm going to use that Dusty Rose shade once again, but I'm going to use kind of a small pencil -y brush, and just sweep that underneath. Then I'm going to take the shade Baby I'm a Star, which is very similar to Mooning, and just a teensy tiny bit of that, and just blend that on the outer third. And 
Now I am going to take, this is going to be my cheek highlight and inner corner highlight, so I'm taking Lunch Money from ColourPop. And I'm going to take it on my pinky, just a tiny bit, and use that as my inner corner highlight. Just add a bit of brightness there. Alrighty, so next, curl the lashes, apply mascara, you know the drill. All that's left is a lipstick. So I think today I'm going to use uh, the Melted Peony from Too Faced. I love these melted lipsticks and I've been neglecting them because I love the ColourPop lippy sticks so much. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this look. I hope you found some inspiration from it. Please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you next time. Bye.